Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, in 2011, my government's emphasis will be on community development approaches which seek to enhance people's well-being and overall development. Emphasis will be placed on access to enhancing community facilities, amenities, and services by strengthening the socio-economic fabric of communities in every parish throughout the state. We will foster and promote the spirit of volunteerism through the Community Builders Brigades, drawing on our people's goodwill and initiatives. Cabinet has already approved a policy to guide the management, operations, and maintenance of government-owned and sponsored community centers to ensure that these facilities serve the needs of all our citizens in communities where they live. Foreign Affairs. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, active engagement with the global community is the hallmark of Grenada's foreign policy. This is strategic and prudent as my government seeks to mobilize the resources necessary to achieve our social and economic development. ...of investment and resources for our country's development. The Technical Cooperation Unit within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will be strengthened as well as our overseas missions to ensure that the capacity necessary to fulfill our objectives is available. As a follow-up to our 2010 preparatory diaspora meeting, my government in 2011 will establish bureaus and technical committees in various diaspora locations in addition to the strengthening of the local office. Given the need to build our capacity in the area of foreign policy, we will continue our drive to recruit qualified persons as well as the enactment of a foreign service order. Following on the delimitation of boundaries with Trinidad and Tobago, my government will be pursuing areas of ocean management or governance to maximize our marine resources. We will also be pursuing delimitations negotiations with Venezuela, with whom we share common boundaries. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, as chair of the 43-member alliance of small island states, Grenada will continue to be at the front of the struggle for climate justice and a positive outcome to the UNFCC summit in Cancun, Mexico in December 2010. Parliamentary Elections Office. In accordance with the Constitution of Grenada and the representation of the People Act of 1993 and its amendments of 2006 and 2008, and in the quest for the advancement of democracy, transparency, accountability, and security, the Parliamentary Elections Office will diligently pursue the implementation of a new voter registration system. 
Kariku and Piti Martinique Affairs. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, in 2010, my government undertook a rationalization and restructuring of the Ministry of Kariku and Piti Martinique Affairs in order to improve its operational efficiency. The restructured ministry will complement the implementation of local government, both of which will be fully implemented in 2011. In an effort to expand economic activity in Carrico, emphasis will be placed on the review and implementation of a number of infrastructural projects. These include the resurfacing and expansion of the Lauriston Airport, the Carrico Freeport, and other agricultural projects. My government will continue to improve travel by sea through negotiated arrangements with the management and ownership of the Osprey Lines. Additionally, my government is currently examining collaboration with the Government of India, a desalination project with the view to ensuring a dependable water supply system to Kariku and Piti Martinique. Social development. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, in the coming year, the protection of our nation's children, our elderly citizens, and victims of domestic violence and abuse will continue to be of great importance to my government. As a result, administrative and legislative arrangements will be made to facilitate these processes. Likewise, we are forging ahead with plans for a family court and the juvenile center for young persons in conflict with the law. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, the Child Welfare Authority will assume full responsibility for all aspects of child protection, including adoption and foster care. Preparations have been made for an amendment to the criminal code, making community service a sentencing option for young first-time offenders and also for the passing of the Child Justice Bill. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, my government takes responsibility to our elderly citizens very seriously and will continue to offer support for an improved quality of life for older persons and to harness their potential to share a meaningful legacy with the rest of the population. In keeping with my government's policy of good governance. A unit has been established to adequately manage all safety net payments to vulnerable persons. Work has already started for establishing a central registry of all beneficiaries of safety net. A cash transfer unit and a social protection policy on safety nets. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, my government will amalgamate all the various safety net programs and target families rather than individuals. This, we believe, will better impact the vulnerable and destitute among us. Legal Affairs. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, 
My government has consistently articulated its intention to enhance our practice of governance in Grenada. In keeping with this, my government will continue to review the Constitution of Grenada. The goal is to ensure our Constitution continues to support the needs and aspirations of our people within a dynamic, changing environment. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, in 2011, Grenada will continue to work within the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court Modernization Plan. High on the agenda is the establishment of the various divisions of the court, especially the criminal division, which should be operational during 2011. The Director of Public Prosecution's Office will continue to promote the adoption of measures aimed at creating greater efficiency in the prosecution of criminal cases. The emphasis will be on the amendment of various provisions of the Criminal Code and the Criminal Procedure Code with a view to reducing the length of time it takes to dispose of criminal cases. There will be the ongoing computerization of all legal files for more transparency and general efficiency. Moreover, the restructuring of the operations of Supreme Court Registry will continue. This will include the continued divestment of the responsibility for selected areas, namely company and intellectual property and deeds and land registration, as well as the strengthening of the civil and criminal registry. The legislative agenda. Mr. President, Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, during this session, my government will pursue an ambitious legislative agenda which will serve to enhance our modernization efforts and increase our operational efficiency. The agenda includes Intellectual Property Act, Legal Profession Act, Public Service Act, Child Protection and Adoption, Status of Children, Domestic Violence, Physical Planning and Development Control Act, Child Justice Bill, Amendment to the Criminal Code, CARICU Local Government Legislation, Labor Laws including the Minimum Wage Bill, Professional Engineers and Architects Registration Act, Foreign Service Order, and bills relating to the health sector. Public administration. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, public sector modernization is a strategic necessary, a strategic imperative necessary to improve our levels and effectiveness as we strive to provide goods and services to our citizenry. My government will continue to pursue a series of modernization initiatives, including the implementation of new business processes, improved management systems, the realignment of departments and ministries, the provision of an improved performance environment, the implementation of a new governance code for ministers and senior officers,